Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a new glitch which was discovered recently in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This glitch seems to have surfaced in the 1.10 update which just recently came out. Now this glitch is really cool and it'll basically let you clip into things such as certain types of items like the little bathtubs that you can get in the game and also it allows you to clip into the rivers as well meaning you can walk through them freely and take all kinds of really cool photos. So I wanted to go over how you can do this glitch and how you can walk in the rivers with this new glitch in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. I just wanted to quickly announce that I have a ton of new Bob's Gang merch in my merch store now available. This new merch I'm really happy with and I hope you guys will check it out. It's designed by Pineapple Ink Art and there's a bunch of different designs and types of merch that you can get. So check out the link in the video description. Now there was actually a glitch that was pretty similar to this discovered last year. However, this seemed much more circumstantial and a little bit more difficult to do. This new glitch is honestly pretty easy and it seems like basically anyone can do it. And not only will it allow you to actually get into the rivers like you saw in this little clip, but you can get into other places as well like certain types of items in the game. Now I want to give credit where credit is due. This glitch seems to have been discovered by a YouTuber named Jasper. They made a pretty cool tutorial on how it works, so I'll link that in the video description. Now I want to basically break down how this glitch actually works in the best way that I can. You'll see a few core components here which can be really important to how you do this glitch. The main item you're going to need to do this glitch is this little puzzle piece. However, other similar sized flat items like for example the turkey day table setting will work just as well. I think the puzzle piece is good though because it's a really easy item to get a hold of. Now you'll notice that the puzzle piece is on top of a cliff at the moment and it's right at the edge of a cliff. You can see that the cliff has a little rounded edge and that rounded edge is basically where your character is going to climb up and stand on top of this puzzle piece. When your character does, it will glitch you. I'm going to show you how this actually looks on the screen. Okay, so let's watch what my character does. He's got his ladder and he'll climb up the little curved edge. Once he does, he'll be on top of the puzzle piece and he'll kind of glitch around a little bit. Now, it might not work right away, but basically you just need to move your character around as much as you physically can. He might get a little bit stuck, but if you move him around just right, he should glitch into certain types of items. This little spa bathtub type item works really well because your character can easily slide into it. It doesn't work this way for every single item. Some items won't let you glitch into them, it seems like, but it certainly works well for this one if this one is the one you want to try it with. As you can see, the glitch does kind of move you around a little bit. In fact, it even knocked me off the cliff without even going down. But just simply climb back up the little edge of the cliff like you see, and you should be able to glitch back into the bathtub. As I mentioned, it is a very finicky glitch, and there's no guaranteed way of getting in there every single time it feels like, but you should be able to do it without too much trouble. It didn't take me too long. Just keep in mind that you may get stuck in some places. So I did test this out with some other items because online I mostly just saw people using that little spa bathtub so I wanted to see if any other things would work. The lighthouse kind of worked but as you can see it's just not really the type of item that you can properly glitch into. It just looks really really bizarre, it doesn't really work. Some other items that I tried I just simply could not glitch into them no matter what I did. I don't know if I did something wrong or if it just doesn't work like that. Maybe different types of items have different like collision types and how you can kind of you know move into them but it's worth trying with lots of different items I think. There's definitely more that work than just the spa bathtub. That's just the one that I've seen commonly used online. So I would recommend trying this with as many items as you can. It makes for some really cool little photos. I think people are going to make some really great photo shoots with this glitch online. I think that's kind of the most exciting appeal of it. But if you're just really bored in Animal Crossing New Horizons, then this glitch is probably for you because, hey, it's something new to do and why not? So, of course, the main thing that I advertised within this video is the ability to walk or swim through the rivers on your island, and this one is really fun. This is the setup that I've got for this, and as you can see, it's basically the same as what I had for the other part of the glitch, except kind of flipped. So this time the puzzle piece is on the ground, and your character is going to climb down from the cliff to get on top of it. 
Now, as you can see, there's a little square which the puzzle piece is on top of, and the puzzle piece is basically centered perfectly in the middle of that square. So if you're recreating what you see here on screen, make sure the puzzle piece is aligned perfectly in the center. It's kind of related to using half tiles and stuff like that, so it won't ever be on one full tile if that makes sense. Now personally, I found this glitch to be even finickier than the other one, but it still does work. As you can see, it happens exactly the same as what you saw with the other one. Now, I kind of had to press the R button, it seems like, to actually glitch myself into the button. The L or the R button should work. I don't know exactly how that works, I won't lie, but it seems like if you press those buttons as you're glitching, at a certain point it should let you drop into the water like you saw on the screen. And once you're actually in there, you can roam around freely. Of course, you can only go as far as the river will actually go, but it's still pretty fun. Now, you can't plant things in here. If you thought of the genius idea of planting trees or flowers or bushes or pumpkins or anything like that, you simply can't do that, sadly. You can, however, release bugs in there if you want to be really cruel. I don't know why you do that, but I tested it out. You also cannot place or drop items in the river, so you basically can't do much. It's just kind of fun to explore around there because it's a place you usually can't go. Again, I know it's not the most simple glitch to do, it can be a little bit confusing, but the actual setup of it is really easy and there's not too much randomness or luck applied to it. It's just gonna take you a few tries probably to get in there. You won't be able to do it every single time, I doubt, unless you get somehow perfect timing at doing it, but it's not the most complicated thing in the world. Now, I know it might seem fairly obvious, but I actually think one of the most fun parts of this glitch is that you can do it online with friends. You and your friends can get together and kind of explore the rivers of different islands, which is a lot of fun. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, it does make for some really great photo shoots. As you can see on the screen, my character is really struggling to get in there at this point. It doesn't work every single time unless somehow you've had a lot of practice with this, I guess. I can do it a bit more easily now. But with the right button press, I did manage to drop into that little section of river. And then once you're in there, the world's your oyster. You can literally go wherever you want. Now, I decided to test a few things out when I was in the river. And there's a few things that you actually can't do as you probably will expect. Also, what's really weird about this glitch is, as you can see, my friend here is actually kind of hovering, elevated above the river. They do eventually fall back down. But it seems like this glitch is just very glitchy. I mean, that's the absolute best word I can use to describe it. It is um, very <laughs> weird, but it kind of reminds me of some of the glitches that we saw back in Animal Crossing New Leaf with the King Tut mask and the tweeter, where you could clip into different places. Now, as you can see, you cannot clip through the bridge. You're going to get stuck if there's a bridge. You won't be able to move past it. So if you really want to fully utilize this glitch, you may want to remove your bridges, though I don't know if that's worth it just for something like this. It's probably not, to be honest with you. And then I decided to run down to the other side of the river so I could meet the mouth of the river. And as you can probably guess, once again, no, you can't go through there. You can't get into the ocean. It doesn't seem like you'd be able to use this glitch to go into the ocean. But then again, why would you? Because you can just use your wetsuit to do that. So yeah, you do kind of get stuck in the river. If you want to escape, you're going to have to use the rescue service. Or if you're online, you can just get, you know, you can just leave using the minus button. So I know what you're probably thinking when you watch this video. Isn't Nintendo going to come through and probably patch this glitch in the next update? And honestly, the answer is probably yes. The more Nintendo sees people using this glitch and the more photos and videos they see of it online, inevitably they're probably going to patch it. However, they haven't patched every single glitch in the game. For example, the fourth tier glitch, which has been around for forever, that still works. So it's very possible they may keep this in, but usually Nintendo does patch these things out fairly soon. So definitely enjoy this whilst you still can. Take all those photos that you want to take and definitely try it out for yourself within the game. It's honestly not that difficult to do. It might just take a few tries and a little bit of practice, but it is a lot of fun. So that's basically how this glitch works in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It'll allow you to clip into different types of items and also clip into the river. 
I'm sure there's other things that players can do with it and they're going to discover even more uses for this really fun little glitch that definitely does make me think back to the days of Animal Crossing New Leaf and some of the most famous and prominent glitches in that game. I'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments section down below if you've tried this yourself or if you're going to after this video. I know I'm not the best at explaining things but I really wanted to get the info out there so you guys could enjoy it before Nintendo eventually patches it. If you made it to the end of the video, also be sure to comment Bob's Gang so I know that you did. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and two Animal Crossing videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching.